4D Cat with a Moving Tail Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I have a really cute little cat nail inspired by this kitty cat right here. Uh, her name is Max and she is very beastly. But she is gray and white and very pretty and so this nail is a little gray kitty cat with a wagging moving tail. So it's a 4D nail that I absolutely love. It goes with a fishbowl nail that I'll be uploading tomorrow, so check back for that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I'm going to begin with an overlay of a minty green acrylic. So when I was going through the colors for this design, I just feel like cats and the color green go together so well. And so I decided that a nice minty green would be such a perfect background for these two nails that go so well. And so I'm applying a really thin overlay of that minty green acrylic over the background. And after that is done, I'm going to be encasing the entire nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong, has an apex, continues to be, you know, all of the things we want in an acrylic nail. Nice, strong, long, sleek, all of that great stuff. After I have that done, I'm going to be filing it into shape with my e-file. I started out with a fairly coarse bit to remove any bulk, and then after I have it nice and smoothed out, I'm going to switch to a finer bit that's just going to refine the surface texture and make it so it's a lot easier to work on top of. It's basically buffing it. So if you guys don't buff your acrylic nails after you have finished filing them, it's something you may want to consider doing in the future. So now on a little nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting the arm of my cat. So this nail is a nail that go, or the art of this nail extends past the nail, both on the left and the right side. So on the side towards your fishbowl, you're going to want to make a little kitty cat arm that's reaching out like it's just going to go boop and tip over the fishbowl. And so have your little cat arm there sculpted with whatever color you want your cat to be. And then I'm going to be gluing that arm into place on the nail after it has set up. So just glue that down and then let that set for a minute. After it is set, which probably won't take you much time at all, I'm going to be taking more of my gray acrylic and sculpting out the cat's body. So there is just the first layer of my kitty cat's body. And this cat nail is based off my cat, or one of my cats, whose name is Max. And she's actually not the naughty one of the two, so she's not the one that I would expect to tip over a fishbowl. But my other kitten is a black cat, and if you guys have ever taken photos of a black cat or any of that stuff, that just the color does not show up very well for art purposes, usually, typically. So I decided to go with the other one for this particular design. And plus, Cami, my black kitten, is going to get so much recognition for Halloween that she doesn't need this nail as well. So I've got the head of my kitty cat, and I'm going to be adding the ears there's the first ear and there's the second ear and same thing I wanted this cat to fill the nail so you almost don't even see much of that background color at all and so if you wanted to do like a cover pink color and just make it disappear that would also look really nice or a clear even you know just something so that it wasn't showing up as a background color and you just saw the cat on the nail and then I have I put another layer of acrylic over the face and I sort of pressed in with the tip of my brush to create eye cavities and then I'm going to add the other arm of the kitty cat sitting down so that it looks like she's got one arm that is resting to keep her balance while she's got the other arm up doing mischievous things. And so I'm off camera just a little bit here, but add her hip and her back leg and foot. And that just kind of create a rounder shape for the hip area and then the flat foot coming down. Add the toes of that front leg. And then I'm going to add just a little patch of white fur right on the chest. So take a tiny bit of white acrylic and just spread that out. And then on a nail form backing, I'm going to start sculpting out the tail. So I'm going to have a nice little curved tail. So take the gray acrylic and set that down and then kind of manipulate it. And the great thing with working on top of a nail form backing is you can create these skinny little shapes with such ease because it's so slippery. And then after that has set up, I'm going to glue a little spring under the nail. So I have all these little springs that my dad, he's an electrician and he takes things apart for the, for the fun of it. And he finds these little things, little springs or doodads of different varieties. And he always gives them to me. So I have all these fun little gadgets to use. So I have a fun little spring and I attached it with some nail glue under the nail and then some ac clear acrylic to make sure it's not going to just pop off. And then I glued the tail to the other side of the spring and secured that with more of my gray acrylic. I'm now going to be sculpting my cat's eyes with some white. And my cat Max, she has kind of a yellow, a yellow tone eye. But for this purpose, I just started out with a layer of white acrylic to start to do that part. And I'm going to be adding her cheeks. So do just another bead of the gray color. And if you guys want to do like a calico cat, you could definitely do all sorts of colors over over this or an orange tabby or you know obviously there's 
numerous types of cats that you could do. A Siamese would also look really, a really cool little coloration on this. So I have the cheeks and the chin. And then after you have that done, I'm going to take a tiny bit of a peach color and I'm going to add just a little bit in each ear and then a tiny bit on the nose. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a later shade of gray and I'm going to be adding some gray stripes on this cat. My kitten in particular, she had lots of stripes and spots when she was young. And then right around her first birthday, they faded. When she shed, she shed all of her all of her stripes and she's pretty solid colored now but she does still have a couple little stripes here and there so I want to make sure that this kitty had plenty of stripes all over plus who doesn't like a tiny tiger which is what I always think of when I think about house cats they're just tiny tigers Add stripes on the tail and the great thing with a design like this is that you can personalize it to your pet. And I know that I've said that for past cat and dog videos, that there's so many opportunities to make it something really special. And then I'm going to take some black paint and do outlines. And my little tip for doing outlines, which I know I've mentioned before, but just in case anybody's missed it, is that if you slightly dilute your black paint, then it's going to go so much easier. And depending on what kind of bottle style your black paint is, what I like to do is one of two things is I'll put some paint on my brush and then I'll dip the brush and the paint into a little cup of water and then I'll mix it on my thumb so that's why you can see my thumb is covered in paint and that just dilutes it enough so it's much smoother and easier to work with but it doesn't keep it from having the pigmentation that you're looking for the other option is you can open up your bottle of paint and pour in I don't ever measure I just to know how much paints in my bottle and kind of work it out you get the when you do this often enough you kind of just know but pour a little bit in close the bottle shake it up and then you have a bottle of slightly diluted paint I'm then going to apply some gel sealer over the background once all the painting's done, cure it, and then apply some matte top coat over my kitty. And tomorrow I will be uploading the fishbowl nail. So if you guys are interested in that one, definitely come back for that. This set together I think is just so perfect and it's definitely a scenario that happens at my house often enough. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. And here is a quick little Melody Minutes. What you wearing there, Melody? You have on Mama's sweater? Oh, it's a good look on you. I like it. Hi, cutie pie. Yeah, I see that. Is that good? <laughs> Is that really yummy? You got a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are so silly. <laughs> so thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.